So what do you think of this? Good morning everybody. It looks like another beautiful day here in the Algarve region of Portugal. Um, the Re Algarve Hotel, what can I say about it? Decidedly average. The shower was average, the bed was average, the amount of noise coming from my neighbours next door, extra loud. I think they'd been out for a few drinks, if you know what I mean, and uh, they all decided to uh, spend a few hours in one person's room. Unfortunately that was the room next to mine. What a racket! But as soon as they all disappeared went to their own individual rooms, things died down, and I got a pretty good night's sleep. Anyway, I'm heading into Faro Town Centre at the moment. I need to get some food. Uh, I think about the only thing I, I could find that was going to be open was good old McDonald's. They're usually a plan B, but today they might be a plan A. Anyway, I'll see you in the centre of Faro in about 25 minutes. Breakfast at the Golden Arches restaurant. Now, I always believe that McDonald's are not known for their brain food, but across the road here on the pavement, there's something very interesting. Yes, the mathematical number of pi, which is 3.14159. Blah, 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 blah. Um, is actually here on the pavement behind me. Can you see that? All the way along. It's down to about 60 to 70 decimal places and I believe it was um, created by a town councillor who was also a mathematics professor and he thought this would stimulate conversation by visitors into the town on Pi. To be honest, if I was going to spend more than one night here, uh, my main conversation would be where am I going to leave my towel? But anyway, um, there's a curious thing right here and I'll show you. The curious thing is there's a number here. Do you know which one's missing? It's actually the number 7. And I only know that because I wrote it down on a piece of paper because I checked this before I left home. I like to research my trips. Anyway, I have to go and get to the station now, which is up in that direction. Well, I'm going to have to disappear for a few hours. I've got a bit of business to do here in Faro. Um, but I am, in the meantime, soaking up some of these old diesel rail cars because they are going to get replaced in the next few years. Or well, that's the plan anyway. Um, the line between Faro and Lisbon is already electrified, but I believe it's the branch line from Tunis to Largouche is going to be electrified. And in the other direction, from Faro to Villa Real de Santo Antonio, that's also going to be electrified. And these old rail cars are going to be scrapped. Um, which is a good thing actually because they're nothing but uh, a source of entertainment for graffiti artists. I'll show you some of the work that they've done. OK, 
okay I have a window seat which is graffiti free and I'll show you some of the scenes and um, I'll see you when I'm back in Farrell. This is the train I've been trying to show you. I think it's a Pendolino. It operates to Porto. Not too bad. So what do you think of this? for a sneaky look about, but it's about to leave. Okay, I've been hanging around here long enough. I need to get going. I need to find where the bus leaves from to go to the airport. I think I'm heading in the wrong direction. I think it's that way. I've made it to the airport with loads of time on my hands. I'm going to go through the boring bit now, which is security, and I'll see you when I'm airside. I'm hungry. Well, that took 20 minutes. They weren't overly thorough, and it wasn't overly busy. But there were lots of bottles of sunscreen being taken.
attention to illuminated signs and crew instructions, including the following safety procedures. The safety guard found in your seat pocket will come. Blow into this tube. There is a light. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. There probably isn't a lot to see this time. Sometimes you strike gold, sometimes you don't. Although I think I've got some uh, sunburn. Anyway, next uh, video will be in approximately nine or 10 days. Uh, VIP access to the Emirates Lounge and on board one of the A380s uh, to have a snoop around. And after that, in about seven weeks, a trip to Paris. And in between that, there might be a trip to the Scottish Highlands. But I don't want to promise anything. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I appreciate every subscription and every thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Despite this train seeing Faro, it's heading for... It is heading for Faro. This is the Rialgarve. There's a dog barking. <laughs>